And so when we say Christianity is not political, we're just showing that we do not understand what Christianity is. And so I think this is a very important starting point for this kind of conversation. And that is not to make us this sort of religious, otherworldly spirituality, but to say, no, what is, what is, what is a politic? You know, the, the Greek word just goes back to the word for polis, which is the word for city. And so politics is the classic art of arranging the affairs of a community. And so politics classically asks questions like, what do we do with our wealth? What do we do with our uh, families? What, how, how do we rightfully arrange relationships uh, with enemies? How do we practice reconciliation? Which are the things that Jesus talked about all the time. Stuff we do in the church every yeah, Exactly, right? Yeah. So, so, and so Jesus doesn't come, you know, for, for Matthew, for example, Jesus doesn't come saying, you repent for a new personal piety is at hand. He says the kingdom of heaven is at hand, which is a politic. Mm-hmm. And so I think we have to reclaim the fact that Christianity is an alternative politic, and as I say in the book, is neither right nor left nor religious. That is, right. not religious in the sense of otherworldly or pious mm-hmm. spirituality, though of course we're trying to rightfully order all things to God. In that sense, it's rightfully a religion. But neither are right nor left, not getting caught up in that continuum and thinking we Christians have to find the right place on the American political spectrum to camp out. That's not mm-hmm. our job. Instead, our job is to bear witness to this kingdom of God, which is itself a politic, and, and which is, as Eugene is pointing us to, uh, one of the most challenging but fundamental realities of the Christian politic is our commitment to nonviolence. Yes. Uh, and so once you begin with that, then all of a sudden you see the differences between some of the stuff on the right, some of the stuff on the left, and the unfolding of the American experiment.